there's still plenty of time for Samsung on unveil the successor to the Galaxy Z Flip 2 that doesn't mean Samsung isn't working on the handset they are and we have two potential designs of the handset according to the latest discovered patent Samsung is considering adding a triple camera system at the back as you can see on the mall the cameras are arranged horizontally and the cover display looks a little bit smaller drives the mall B adopts a vertical stack getting much more room for the miniola screen which grows in size as a result Samsung actually goes on to implement this design it would make the front display more useful now this patent doesn't guarantee that Samsung will actually go ahead with this design but is a huge possibility that we might end up with either of this design considering most flagships offer at least three cameras at the back these days we also see the under display camera with easy flipped over because Samsung is considering using it on the Galaxy S21 if the S21 comes with the technology that it's safe to say it will come to these he flipped through as well we'll see how that unfolds Tim Cook took a load of Dixon and or during Apple's earnings recently he said that the new iPhone say has the potential to attract plenty of Android users over to iOS thanks to its great price and top tier performance he even mentioned that iPhone say is faster than the fastest Android phones is exactly what he said place in every zero but I would expect to see doing even better where the median incomes are less I expect some fair number of people switching over to iOS it's an unbelievable offer is the engine over top phones in a very affordable package and is faster than the fastest Android phones it's an exceptional value honestly I really don't understand this logic that this will convince Android users mindset that happens any time a new iOS device is released especially those at lower price points the original iPhone say had the newest processor available was priced at $400 and came out when the budget Android market was pretty bad with all of that going for we saw that he didn't really shift the Android iOS market share any appreciable amount I was users bought iPhones and Android users bought Android phones come 2020 if this new iPhone say also has the newest processor available is still priced at $400 and has a slightly larger display than the old remote was the budget and what competition has improved dramatically Google has the Pixel a lineup Samsung has to Galaxy a lineup and Motorola has been making some of the best inexpensive chances for years now much better than keep Android devices were in 2016 the iPhone as he is a really good device at a great price but I just don't buy this it's can attract Android users argument because we saw that the last cheap iPhone didn't do that when it had even less competition why should we expect things to be different this time there's more to phones than just processor speed such as multiple cameras and a larger higher resolution display and more looking design and above all of that a battery that lasts a whole day unlike the iPhone say is 1800 milliampere's battery that gives a mere three hours of screen on time people care about these things more than just overlook it go fast by the RAM not discounting the value of a processor refasten new iPhone say claim to fame that I think it's more marketing than anything yes iOS is a big draw but most Android users are just as committed to and deeply invested with the platform as I was users are to there's the say won't be exact phone to change their minds in my opinion simply having to go back to a small four-year-old design will be enough of a deterrent for the majority of phone in my opinion the say will be more effective at keeping current iPhone owners on that platform any time of the comic belt tightening for that is a good move if the intent is to draw any significant percentage of current Android users then I don't see it happening in me let me know what you think by dropping your comment below thanks for watching one piece out <laughs>